what is going on panda gang i'm recording this after i had already recorded the wolf version one video that you guys are going to be watching today but again make sure you guys go ahead and check out the pinned comments for the first 200 people i will go ahead and leave the script completely free usually that's going to go within the first two hours so go ahead and check that out as well as the comments below for the setup video for the script in today's video we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the recoil and how to adjust and all that good stuff so i'll see you guys in the video all right what is going on everybody today in this video we're going to go ahead and talk about how to set up the anti-recoil for the wolf version one script right so right now i'm just going to shoot you guys can see the anti-recoil was set to off this is how the gun is normally going to shoot in the game all right now all we're going to do is go ahead and turn on our anti-recoil mod and put it on legacy go ahead and press a to adjust our vertical strength and i'm just going to go ahead and test out what 20 looks like on the vertical value and again make sure you guys go ahead and check out my setup video for this script it's going to be linked in the comments below all right just go ahead and check out the comments it's going to be pinned but we're going to go ahead and aim now and shoot again and you can see it is pretty aggressive and it's shooting to the down it's kind of shot down and to the right all right now anytime it does that all i would do is go back into anti-recoil press a on legacy value and change the vertical to be at around like 16 all right the way you would adjust is if the gun shoots down, you decrease the vertical value. And if the guns are shooting up, you would increase. All right. So we're going to aim in again and shoot. I know everyone's looking for the best scripts. So worry no more. We got you guys covered. Go ahead and click on the first link in the description. It's going to go ahead and take you guys over into the put and I leave my personal phone number up here. Also, the 100 percent money back guarantee if you feel like the scripts don't work. All right. So we got five tiers open. Currently, we got the extreme scripts tier ultimate aim assist tier, the custom scripts, legendary tier, and the lifetime. So I'm going to go and briefly explain each and show what is included in all of them. All right. First one, the extreme scripts. This comes with all our brand new scripts. Again, they work for all first person shooter games. You guys can see we got over hundreds of scripts and the setup videos that go along with it. So it makes it pretty easy to set up. Then we got the ultimate aim assist tier. This comes with the aim assist values as well as the script. So anytime you get a higher tier, you get everything else below it. So this again, all the aim assist values and the set of videos for that as well. Then we finally got the custom scripts tier. This is where we use your exact in game settings, make you a personalized script. So you do not have to adjust anything. All right. Then we get went ahead and got the legendary tier for the one on one help. I always recommend this to anyone that's new because this is where we get on a one on one call. We make sure your Zen setups right with the best scripts as well. All right. And then finally, lifetime tier, the only one time payment tier on here. All right. All the other ones are monthly. But again, you guys can cancel any time. Phone numbers listed, all that good stuff. But I know a lot of you guys are always still wondering, is there a way to get all the scripts over here from the extreme scripts for a one time price? Yes, it is. And that's in this top 10 scripts tier. The prices on all these will be going up soon. So make, guys, make sure you guys go ahead and join up on that. But again, right now it's $75. And then we also have this brand new, a little bit cheaper tier if you guys wanted to go ahead and test out some of the scripts that we do have in there as well. All right. So let's go and get back to the video. But before we do, man, a huge shout out to the 3.5K members that are currently part of the Podia. And you can see that's pretty good. All right. Now, again, it's not perfect. I know a lot of you guys watching this video are going to be lethal. That thing looks like shit. The thing is, you're not taking into account the aim assist that you're going to get once you're actually aiming at the enemies. You guys can see it makes it pretty easy once you start aiming at the enemies and you're actually shooting. And right now, you guys can see I'm inside of the firing range. When you're in the game, you guys can know you do notice that little bit of shaking going on in my screen. That's the aim assist value. So you can come in there and if you wanted to. You can go ahead and lower them because again the radius is a little bit high but again that's how you would use the recoil value and again if i switch over to this weapon my secondary same thing if i just go ahead and shoot you guys can see again not perfect but it's a lot better than what it would be if you aren't touching right now whenever you're playing in game you're always going to be slightly controlling the recoil right so again even though it's shot like that Here's what it looks like once you're actually in game. You can see not bad, right? Again, if I just go ahead and control it like normal, it turns most of your like chest shots, which is where most people are going to be shooting. They're not going to be shooting at their heads. If it shoots up a little bit, that's fine. Now, again, you could increase the vertical value a little bit more. Let's say you wanted it to be at 18. You can go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and put it at 18, shoot again, and you can see. Eh, still a little bit aggressive. So if, if you really wanted to, most of my guns, I just go ahead and leave them at 22. 
and that's what I do. For all the guns that I rock, I put it at 22, and you can see, again, not perfect, but that's pretty darn good. It got rid of most of the vertical recoil. The rest of it, I'm just going to be able to control and keep it on the enemies. You guys can see that. Makes it pretty easy. Strafing, doesn't matter. All that good stuff. Now, again, when it comes to setting up the recoil, it's super important your settings, okay? If you go into your settings, these are the settings that I use. Again, you don't have to copy me. I just told you how you can adjust the values. But the most important one is going to be in controller. If you just scroll down, it's going to be your dead zone inputs, okay? Right over here, make sure you guys have those dead zones on that. And then when it comes to the rest of the settings, just make sure you match your vertical and your horizontal sensitivities, all right? So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and change my loadout. And when it comes to using the Zen and recoil help, make sure you guys are using attachments that help with horizontal recoil. Let the Zen and your thumb, when you assist it, take care of the vertical recoil for you. All right. So again, we're going to shoot now and you can see this gun pretty darn good. Again, still shoots up, right? I know a lot of people that are going to think, oh, I just want it to be a laser. That's not the Zen. If you want that, what you're looking for is aimbot. Now here's what this looks like. You guys can see pretty darn just look how steady it is look at that and that's me controlling it obviously it's not me just aiming here and letting it go you still have to do some of the controlling let's see if we can knock down that guy see it's not that hard once you just learn how each of the weapons shoot and again the same value let me go ahead and turn on my zen cam again i don't know why that went away my vertical value at 22 again horizontal just make sure that's always at zero and that's how you go about adjusting the weapons doesn't matter if it's ar smg just do that and look at this just aim there again right now i don't even have the aim assist fully dialed in because the enemies aren't moving or anything they're just you know standstill bots but you guys get the point all right so hope you enjoyed catch you on the next one peace and love panicking all right